Say welcome, everyone. Wilhelmina, teach us about Prime. Or take a nap. Show the Prime bottle next to her. She literally. She's falling asleep. <laughs> You're sleeping on the job. You're sleeping on the job, Wilhelmina. Look at this, guys. The Prime is bigger than her. <laughs> what is that? Hey you guys, welcome aboard Crab Central Station. My name is Darcy, and in this video, we are gonna answer all of your questions about Cecum Prime. You know, we get asked a lot of questions. How to properly dose the water? How often do we need to, to use Prime? How do you use Prime for a small pool? Or what if my pools are filtered? Or what if I have bubblers? There's so many questions about Cecum Prime, and we're gonna answer them in this video. Let's get started. Let's talk about why we even need to prime our water. So our hermit crabs spend time filling their shells with the water, like completely submerged. They drink the water and they even store it in their molt sack for when they go down and molt for weeks to months at a time. So it's really, really important that we make sure we offer safe water. You are gonna use prime for both your freshwater pool and your saltwater pool. You don't need to purchase any other product. Also, softeners and conditioners are not recommended for our hermit crabs. The only thing you need to use is Cecum Prime. So Cecum Prime is going to neutralize um, and detoxify heavy metals that are often found in tap water. It's also going to detoxify ammonia and it's going to get rid of chlorine and chloramine, also very commonly found in tap water. So that's the reason why we use Cecum Prime. Another question we get asked a lot is if you can use bottled water, spring water, filtered water, or even distilled water so that you don't have to purchase and worry about the prime. And the answer to that is no. So those types of water do not have the natural minerals and vitamins that um, our city water out of our tap water actually come with. And those things are actually beneficial to your hermit crabs. And so you wanna make sure that you're using tap water and then just go ahead and use your prime like we've been talking about. You guys, a bottle of prime, I know it's a little bit expensive up front, but this lasts so long. I can tell you in the total time that we've had hermit crabs for years now, we've probably bought maybe three total bottles, okay? And we haven't even used an entire one yet. So this stuff lasts for a very, very long time. It's worth purchasing, obviously, so that you can keep your water clean and healthy and safe for your hermit crabs. The other type of water we often get asked about is well water. Maybe you live out on some land and you use well water. So that you would need to have checked. Um, go ahead and have somebody look for what minerals, elements, um, heavy metals, chlorine and chloramine, all those things. And that will let you know if you need to use Prime. To be honest with you, I don't know if that test costs a lot of money because I live in a city, but to me, it's easier to just Prime. But I'll leave that up to you guys. Obviously you're looking for safe water. Now let's talk about how often we need to prime our pools. Let me tell you, this one is heavily debated um, whenever we answer this on our YouTube channel or on our social medias and even on other um, different sites and groups and things like that, we see, we see this argument all the time. Why do we have to reprime every 48 hours? That's silly, it doesn't make sense. Well, you guys, let me tell you, after 48 hours of water that is not being filtered, that's the key word here. Pools that are not filtered have to be either replaced, completely replace the water with reprimed fresh water, reprimed fresh salt water, or you need to reprime the, the water itself in the, in the bowl in your tank. Okay, so let me kind of dive into this a little bit deeper. So for our hermit crabs, I know that there are a lot of you out there that have pools in your tank that aren't filtered and don't have bubblers, okay? So just a dish with still water. For those pools, you're supposed to be changing the water every two days or every 48 hours. And when you do that, you're going to replace your pool with fresh water and salt water, and you're going to add your prime. If you have pools in your tank that have air stones or bubblers, but not filters, okay? So you just have bubblers in there that's moving the water, that means that you only have to change your water out once a week, which it, it helps with your maintenance. However, you do have to reprime those pools every 48 hours. 
So you don't have to change out the water, but you would take your prime and you would redose the pool every two days. And then at the end of the week, you would completely change out your water. If you have filtered pools like we do, then you would use prime to get your cycle started. Okay, so every 48 hours, you would put prime in your pool. Once your pools are cycled, which you would buy a testing kit and that will tell you when your pool is cycled, um, then you don't have to continue priming your water because your filter is going to do for you what prime would do if you were using it still, okay? So that's one of the huge advantages of having filtered pools. It's a lower maintenance as far as having to change out your water. And once your pool is cycled, you don't have to worry about repriming every 40 hours. Now, if you don't agree with me on the whole 48 hour thing, please check out the description below, you guys. We are going to link you directly to Secum Prime's website where they explain why they suggest repriming every 48 hours. Okay, this is probably the second most asked question, and that is how do I know I'm priming the right amount? You know, it says two drops per gallon, but my pools aren't a gallon, and so how do I, how do I kind of um, gauge the amount of prime that I'm using. So let me give you guys a trick that we use. So when you buy your bottle of prime, it comes with a foil seal on the top of your bottle, okay? Do not break that seal. That thing is going to be so helpful. So keep your seal like that. Then take your just common dinner table toothpick and you're going to just poke one hole in the top where that foil is, just one tiny hole. Now you have an easy way to, to measure drops right from your bottle okay so that's the first thing all right now when you read on the bottle it says that you need to add two drops of prime for a gallon of water so if your pools are less than a gallon you can just drop one drop of prime right into your pool if your pools are one gallon it would be two drops a gallon and a half or so it would be three drops right so if you have large pools like this we have 10 gallon pools in our tank so when we started getting these ready and we were getting the filters going and, and the pools cycled, that would take 20 drops initially because we have 10 gallons. So two drops for every one gallon of your pool. Now I know like I mix up a whole jug of salt water ahead of time because it's just easier to make a lot of salt water than to just make a little tiny pool's worth. I don't prime the jug that I'm holding that in because remember you have to prime every 48 hours. So I just have like a gallon jug of salt water and actually I have a gallon jug of fresh water as well that I just keep in my crab room. And then I fill up my pools and I drop the prime directly into the pool rather than my jug of, of water. That way you know that the pool your crab is in is has safe water. And again, you're doing this every 48 hours, okay? Here's some really, really good news. You cannot over prime water. So maybe you have little tiny crabs and your pool is really, really little and you don't even need one whole drop. It's okay, put one drop, put two drops. It's not gonna hurt them, all right? So you don't have to worry about it being dangerous if you put too many. Obviously, you know, you want your prime to last a long way, not a long way. Obviously you want your prime to last a long time. And so you don't want to be wasteful and just like pour a bunch in there. Plus, if you've noticed, prime is kind of stinky. Um, and so, you know, if you put a whole bunch of it, it might cause kind of an odor in your tank that you don't really want. So judge as close as you can to the two drops per gallon, but rest assured that you are not going to hurt your crabs if you over prime. Okay, let's talk about the smell of prime, right? We've all experienced this. Ugh. Ugh. So it smells like sulfur, like rotten eggs. That's how prime smells. So if your prime smells like that, you're good. <laughs> That's what it's supposed to smell like. This stuff lasts a long time. Truly, you guys, it lasts a really, really long time. Like I said, we've had ours for years. So it's, it's nothing to worry about. It does stink. That's totally normal. The last thing I want to cover in this video is whether or not you should use any other kind of water conditioners. And the answer is no. So good for you. We can save money there and we can save time as well. So there is no need to put any kind of conditioner in the pool for your hermit crabs or any kind of stress coat or that sort of thing. Your hermit crabs don't need that. All they need is Secum Prime.
All right, you guys, I really hope that this video helps to answer all of your questions. You can go back to this time and time again if you're ever questioning things and feel secure and confident in knowing that you are getting your water safe and ready for your hermit crabs. Share this with other folks if you know that they need to learn about Seacomb Prime as well. Again, check out the links in the description if you have any more questions or just wanna deep dive and read about Seacomb Prime, why you need to use it, the whole thing about 48 hours redosing and that sort of thing. Hey guys, if you haven't already, subscribe to our channel and click the bell so you can be notified when we drop a new video and follow us on our social media. We do all kinds of things, videos, pictures, polls, care tips, and all that kind of stuff. You don't wanna miss that either. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.